Hey my home cooking friends, today we're making a quick and easy one pot pozole rojo. Pozole is a traditional Mexican stew with hominy and a rich red chili broth. It's a really simple yet flavorful stew that is served with lots of fresh toppings including onions, cabbage, and cilantro that add amazing freshness and texture. It's typically made with chicken or pork and today we're doing pork using some homemade carnitas we made yesterday in the slow cooker. We enjoyed them in some street tacos yesterday, and today we're using this leftover meat for this delicious pozole rojo. This comes together super quick, making it a perfect weeknight dinner. So make sure you're subscribed to our channel, then come on into the kitchen with us and let's make some carnitas pozole rojo. So I like to start by prepping my garnishes first and getting them out of the way ahead of time. We're going to chop some onion. I prefer white onion, but you could use yellow or red onion too. We'll slice some radishes. A couple limes. Chop up some fresh cilantro. And thinly slice some green cabbage. You could do avocado also if you wanted, or if there's other toppings you enjoy in your pozole, let us know in the comments. We love getting new ideas. Now we'll prep just a couple things for our stew. We'll chop about three cloves of garlic, We'll also chop up a yellow onion. We're just doing a small onion since our carnitas we made already has some onion in it. If you're using carnitas that doesn't have any onion in it already, I would probably use a large onion. And that's it for our prep. We'll also have ready a few canned items. The first is a can of hominy, which I'll rinse and drain. Hominy is a type of corn that's been dried and soaked in a solution to remove the holes and make them plump and chewy. It's what they use to make masa and corn tortillas, and I love them in pozole. We'll also use one can of Rotel Fire Roasted Tomatoes with green chilies. We're using the original, which has a little kick to it that we like, but if you're sensitive to spice, it does come in a mild variety as well. For our chili flavor in our stew, I like to use enchilada sauce as a shortcut. This is a great way to use leftover enchilada sauce, especially if you've made a big batch of homemade and want something to do with it. On days like today though, when I don't have any homemade on hand, you can use a can of store-bought enchilada sauce. The last thing I'm going to get ready before we get cooking is our pork drippings. When we cooked our pork in the slow cooker yesterday, I saved all of the delicious drippings and juices, and they're going to add great flavor to our stew broth. If you're using a store-bought carnitas or just don't have the leftover juices, that's totally okay. I'll tell you how to make up for that flavor in a minute. So all we need to do to prep our pork drippings is to remove the layer of fat that settled on top in the fridge. And that's it, loads of flavor ready to go. So let's get cooking. I've got a large soup pot over medium heat and we'll use a couple tablespoons of avocado oil or whatever kind of oil you like. We'll toss in our chopped onions and our garlic. And we're going to saute them for a few minutes until our onions are translucent. Make sure to stir it frequently. We don't want our garlic to burn. Just a few minutes in and our house already smells amazing. All right, now we'll toss in the rest of our ingredients, our hominy,
our can of Rotel tomatoes with chilies, our enchilada sauce. Using a sauce that's already made along with our meat being pre-made are really helpful ways to streamline this recipe, making it super quick to throw together. Our pork drippings, if you have them, remember if you don't, that's okay. We'll add eight cups of water. And we're also going to add some chicken better than bouillon. Now, since we're using those pork drippings, I'm going to add only about one heaping tablespoon of this. However, if you aren't using pork drippings, you can just add extra bouillon. I would probably double it, but adjust it to suit your taste. Either way, we're adding great rich flavor to our stew. We'll also add two teaspoons of dried oregano, and the juice of our lime. So we're going to give this a stir, and the only things we haven't added at this point is our carnitas, because they are already so tender and shredded, I don't want them to disintegrate into our stew. So we're going to give our broth a chance to come together first. We'll cover it and bring it to a simmer for about 15 minutes or so to give all those flavors a chance to marry together. Then once our broth has had a chance to develop, we'll toss in our tender carnitas. Gently toss though, no splashing in the hot soup. And let it come back up to a simmer for just a few more minutes, really just long enough to heat our carnitas through. and our delicious pozole is ready to serve. The fresh toppings on pozole is what really makes it for me, so don't skip those. We'll add our sliced cabbage, chopped white onions, and cilantro. some crumbled cotija cheese, and we'll garnish it with our sliced radishes and lime wedge. Such a simple stew, this came together so fast and has so much delicious flavor and texture. And look how beautiful it is too. If you're excited to try this pozole recipe, please drop us a like and a comment, and make sure you're subscribed to our channel for more of our family's favorite recipes. We'll see you next time. Have a beautiful day and happy home cooking.